swing that all the way open. And then... Is it like stay or do you Good job, Merritt. And then you gotta kick that tab. Yeah, kick it hard. Smash it in. You gotta kinda have your foot on the gate. Oh, you could do that too. Yep, and then pull. Oh no, she's down. There we go, okay. Pull it open for her. Hey girl. Oh, she's fine. Welcome to the farm. Hey, copper, no. Welcome to the farm, girl. Copper, you're gonna get yourself kicked. You're gonna be a milk cow. Copper. We're gonna stop. take real good care of you. She's so pretty. Hi, baby. Copper. Hey, so cows, when they get, get into a new pasture, the first thing they have to do they're just curious creatures is they've pretty much she's gonna kind of go look for her friends which are not here yet or her old friends are gone because she's at a new farm but she's gonna walk the pasture and kind of feel out the edges of it uh what we need to do is get these fireworks out of the way so i'm gonna go pull over there and you guys are gonna help me load them up i'll be right there our daily bounty as we have moved into just utter harvest land in the greenhouse we need to do some pickling turn these into pickles and pickle our peppers and our jalapeno make some cowboy candy we're really just thinning the carrots but a little snack niblets and mom's gonna have a salad goodness gracious look at that and the zucchini bread from yesterday how was it gauge delish What's in it? Zucchini. Why is it so crunchy? Is it crunchy? It's yeah. crunchy. It's a little bit crunchy. Hmm. I think it's good. Thank you. I yeah. like the, it's a little bit of crunchy. I agree. What you working on there, Mayor? My math. <gasps> math! What? Good job. We got a... Dairy cow. We bought a new dairy cow named Glory, and she's a brown Swiss. And it was a little bit of a impulse, although not an impulse, because we've been wanting to get a dairy cow. Hey, quiet. Um, and it was kind of perfect timing because we want to be in milk right around November when we get back from our very long trip that we're taking in end of September through October. And so this cow is bred and she will be having her baby in November. So it's kind of perfect timing. And she was pretty cheap because she's a heifer. And it was um, local in Etheridge, which is really great. So that was really easy. And we just decided to go for it. The only downside is she's not necessarily tame exactly. <laughs> But she, <laughs> no, she's not saying. But um, that's where the sweat equity comes in. And I did take Sean and Beth Doherty's What Cow to Buy class. And we basically just completely ignored all their advice and bought this cow. So we'll see. But I did go out there today to bond with her. And I brought her some feed, which I don't really want to. She's been on feed, but she's been on homemade organic feed. From the farm she was at they only have like eight acres or something and they run dairy cows so they have to feed um we'll transition her mainly to um grass you know but since she's been used to mainly feed we're kind of gonna have to gradually take her off that but anyway i brought her some some feed and she's been on grass and so she we worked and I put my hand out and she was willing to smell my hand and blah 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 anyway I put it out on a little pan and she was willing to eat and let me pet her as she ate so I take that as a big win and it actually made me feel real confident that I could probably even get a halter on her because she was like allowing me to pet her quite you know quite well and 
vigorously. So if I can get a halter on her, then I can lead her and, or pull her <laughs> until I can lead her. Um, but I'm going to do that every day so that when I show up, she knows she gets some feed and then she'll come to me and we'll start to establish a little bit of a routine and a pattern. So I'm feeling optimistic. Goodness gracious. I'm feeling optimistic about it, even though I am also, there's parts of me that are very leery. Goodness gracious. Um, about the cat. But we've got it. We took the, d we dove off the edge. We do have our Holsteins. They're probably not going to be in milk till like March or April. And so Cover! if glory Cover! works, Cover! sorry, I had to yell at my children. Um, they will not be in milk until the spring. And so we either will keep them and have three cows by then that we're ready to start like, you know, marketing our dairy products or we will sell them. None of our cows are A A2, A2, so we might sell the Holsteins and get an A2, A2 cow because we eventually will want to have that, but I do okay with A1, A2 if you don't know what I'm talking about. That's okay. It's like a, it has to do with kind of like the way your body tolerates the dairy. Most people, most everybody, even if you have a dairy allergy, can drink A2, A2 milk, especially if it's grass-fed. The trick is most people can tolerate A1, A2 milk if it's grass-fed but people think they, they get stuck on the A2A2 and I get that. So we'll probably end up going A2A2 eventually. But for now, we have our A1, A2 cows. We're gonna start with that and it's starting to rain and we've got practice, so shall we? Mm -hmm. Watch out there, guy. Let me do it. Do you want me to do it? Can I do it? No. Hey, hey, yep, that's, let's just, I don't like what's happening. There you go. Okay. This is what happens when you work regular jobs and you are a homestead person. I work, well, we both don't really work regular jobs, but have a crazy life. These are obviously just about to be not good for anybody. We don't want to waste food. And it is. 9.52 in the evening, but that's the beauty of homeschool and homestead is you guys just sleep in a little bit in the morning and call it square. Making pickles and cowboy candy, which is essentially what? A sweet and sassy jalapeno. Um, can I just like cut these like this? Let me do that one. All right, we are brining the pickles overnight. We did not get to those peppers. <laughs> And our jalapenos boiled down into two teensy little cans of sassy jalapenos. But they're delicious. But they're delicious cans. Well, actually, let me do Today, Junior. Do they have sweet to them? Oh yeah. A, it's spice. a different recipe than we've used in the past. Mm -hmm. and they're definitely not it's the company that we get in. Can't remember, but they yeah. smell like they're tangier than Yeah. Yeah. Well they're it's saying. not in a bad like they're delicious, like okay. just different. We like to put these on sandwiches and burgers. Also just like a slice sandwiches. of Parmesan cheese, like hard parmesan. parmesan. <laughs> a little jalapeno on there. Tasty treat. I also think. Did you say pizza? Oh yeah. That you put that on pizza. I said turkey, turkey sandwiches, burgers, uh -huh. slices of cheese, pizza. You didn't say pizza, and I don't think we've ever done that, but that does sound quite good. Oh, I probably be good on, on pizza. Sometimes like Hawaiian pizza. Yeah. Um, this would be, a candied jalapeno would be For so sure. much better. 
I think it sounds good to put it on a stick of cream cheese. I mean, that's the same. People do that too, yeah. People. No, they're, they're good. Do you want to try one? Yep. 